Hey y'all, welcome to Resale Therapy. My name is Tracy and I go by Kidlet and I sell on Macari and eBay. And this is a what's sold video. I'm hoping to do it a little different this time because 35 items, like it's been insane. I, I, I haven't even been posting. I don't, I don't understand. Maybe it's the second lockdown. I don't know, but let's get started. So the first item is this Basset Hound figurine made of resin, I believe. I picked up a bunch of dogs at about 80 cents a piece at the mom and pop shop, and this one sold for $8. This next one is a Starbucks Been There mug. I picked this up and two other uh, You Are Here mugs at $2.50 a piece, and this is the last one, and it sold for $10. Mary Mushroom. I was very shocked to find Mary Mushroom, but I did. I found two creamers, a vase, and a salt and pepper shaker set. And these two creamers, this one and a broken one as a bonus, sold for $10 for the two. Now this bookend, there was only one and there was a chip on the top. So I passed it multiple times um, at many different visits. And finally I broke down and I bought it because it was just so adorable. And I disclosed the chip and that there was only one and it sold almost immediately for $17. Um, one of the many ornaments I have that I got in a bag, multiple bags, because I'm crazy like that, I don't know, but this one had a little bit of damage with some glue and it sold for $4, best offer. Laurel Birch. This is a dog bag instead of a cat bag and I love the colors. Um, and I don't remember how much, I think I got it at the outlet and it sold for $10. Disney princess frame. I thought it had the glass in it. It did not. I don't remember how much I bought it for to be quite honest, but it sold for $5. Actually, I think this was a quarter day item at St. Vincent's. I picked these trivets up whenever I see them, and this time the set of four eventually sold for $10. Usually I get them at the outlet. This was different. I don't know why I got it. It's restaurant wear with a bunch of ads on it, Keith's Kettle Kitchen or something like that. I didn't think it would ever sell, but eventually it sold for $10. Laurel Birch again, this time the cat bag. I had this one for a while and I used it for yarn. I love the buttons on it. It had some damage on the bottom. It sold locally for $12. Now these I had posted accidentally by it now and for auction and then it started getting bidding an auction so I took the other one down but it went for more than I posted it at buy it now so 10 bucks not bad I think I paid a dollar this was a 25 cent sale mug from St. Vincent's and it went to a woman who had one and needed it replaced because it broke so I happily sold it to her for five dollars I initially bought this for my husband there's a moose mug this is from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And then I found the prepackaged survival kit at the bins. Um, he didn't want it, so I sold it. Best offer, 28 bucks. Mona Lisa Mona Claus tie. I found this at the bin, so I maybe paid 50 cents and I sold it for $10. Tella Flora Smiley Face Mug. I was very surprised to finally find one of these and it to actually be the Tella Flora, not a knockoff. And I sold it for $15. And I think I paid 69, 68 cents. This belt buckle is from an actual seat belt of a Chevy. And I bought it, I think at the outlet. Can't rem I don't remember for how much, but it sold for $12. Christmas Hallmark Kissing Bears. Yeah, I won't be buying those again. I think I broke even because I sold them as a set for $3.50. So, lesson learned. Now, this is a Villarian Bach Bowl. I had maybe five or six of these total. 
these are the smaller ones at six and a quarter across. I had two of them that I sold for $20 and I paid 25 cents a piece. Oh, and then I sold the last one, this green one, and it was a bigger one. I sold, I think this one was like a buck 50. It was the only one I paid more than a quarter for. And I sold it for $13, so I'm, I'm not complaining. Okay, so this is a weird one. This is a chakra wand. I don't know too much about this sort of thing, but I did do my research. I did cleanse it the way I said to cleanse it. I maybe paid two fifty dollars for it, and I sold it for 14 to a very sweet lady who also bought this book, Labyrinth. It's a, just a bunch of mazes to, you know, trace with your finger. Um, she's a repeat customer. Love her to death. $10 for the book. Uh, I got that at the bins. This shiny Chico's clamper bracelet has a magnetic closure and it came in a Goodwill box or it may have come in a jar, but it sold for $6. These are guitar strings mint in the package and I found them at the Goodwill bins. They were just laying on top of some clothes. I uh, didn't know much about it, but I got them for maybe 50 cents and sold them for 10. This is a duck decoy, just decoration, not an actual decoy, obviously. I think it's made of resin. I paid about $2 for it and it sold for 12. I love odd and unusual clay works of art and this turkey bowl or duck bowl or chicken or whatever, I had to get it. I paid about $2.50 and I sold it for $20. Clear glass elephant figurine, pretty hefty, but I don't know that it was crystal for certain. Had its trunk up for good luck, it was very nice. I paid a few dollars for it and I sold it for 20 bucks. This little Italian rooster pitcher is just, I, I had to get it. It was just calling to me from the shelf. Uh, I really don't remember how much I paid for it, but I sold it for 15 and I paid a lot less. <laughs> these were so cute. I got these and a few other salt pepper shakers at Goodwill. Um, maybe a buck 50 into them and they eventually sold for $8. So cute. This is a White House black market bracelet and I love it. So pretty. And it was in mystery bags from a mom, the mom and pop shop. I think I paid like $11 for the three or four bags I got. And just this one piece alone sold for $7. All right, y'all. I lied. This is the last Villarian box that sold. <laughs> but I did get this one for $0.25, cents, unlike the other one. And it sold for $10. But it is the very last one, I swear. <laughs> These were so hideous. They were cute. I loved them, but I would have never used them. They're miniature casserole dishes for individual servings. I bought them for a buck twenty-five a piece and sold them for twenty-four dollars. That included shipping on a special deal. And this is a tin with an enamel finish. I loved it. Um, I almost kept it, but it finally sold for six dollars. I think I paid a buck for it. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. Now the compass didn't work and I waited around to sell it, but that's okay because it sold for 15. Another clay, gorgeous pottery piece. Love these things. This is a very shallow bowl. I picked it up for about 250. I think I could be wrong on that, but I sold it for 18. So no matter what I paid for it, awesome turnaround. This is, oh, this is so pretty. Italian glass bowl. Look at those colors, y'all. I think I paid four bucks for this. I could be wrong, though. And I sold it for 16 Hey, y'all. Okay, I wanted to come on face-to-face -face and say that, yeah, there's a lot of me guessing on how much I paid for things because I suck at keeping track. There was a time I would sit down and write everything out, but... I'm bipolar. I'm a mess. I apologize. There are times I'm very anal about keeping track of everything. And then there's other times that I go shopping just to get away from life for a while. And all I do is tuck the receipt and forget about it.
There's times I do a haul and you see it, and other times it goes into a corner and hides until it gets listed. So <laughs> I wish I was better at this sort of thing, but I'm, I'm trying. I have the receipts for bookkeeping, but that's about as far as it goes. So I apologize if that irritates some people. But I, I guess at the, when I don't know for certain, because I don't remember, I guess at the max I would pay for something. Like that last bowl, I, I definitely would not pay more than $4 for. There's no way. So I can safely guess as opposed to just pulling a number. <laughs> I hope that made sense. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I'm, I greatly appreciate the amount of people that have come to my page. I could not imagine that I could ever have anybody listening to what I say, <laughs> let alone over a hundred people. So I know that's pretty sad on YouTube terms. Like other people have like a thousand, multiple thousand million. And here I am going, yay, a hundred. <sighs> anyway. Thank you for being most people. I appreciate you all so much. You make my day. Bye.